Lobby Tools, Florida's legislative intelligence company. Subscribe today to Florida's leading policy, budget, and campaign tracking service. Request a free trial today at LobbyTools.com. Democrats wasted little time attacking Governor Rick Scott, releasing a website titled Self-Serving Scott, along with a wave of political ads ahead of his Monday morning announcement for U.S. Senate. He has avoided telling the full truth about how he's increased his personal wealth by $46 million while governor. The ads call into question Scott's net worth, which according to his latest financial disclosure, put him at just shy of $150 million. Hiding behind a secretive blind trust. Scott is currently in the midst of a legal dispute, which seeks to see how much money is in his wife's blind trust. The governor admits that he controls and is the beneficial owner of assets that he's not disclosing. Democrats have raised questions regarding whether Scott has used the blind trusts to hide potential profits earned since taking office. This blind trust is nothing but a sham so he could personally profit while he was in public office. Under Florida law, Scott wasn't required to release the information while governor, but candidates for federal office are required to disclose their spouse's finances. Now that Governor Scott's announced he's running for Senate, he has 30 days to disclose his wife's finances, but he could ask for an extension up to 90 days. He does not want to make these disclosures or he wants to delay them as long as possible into the election process. Florida Democrats have posted a timer on their website, keeping track of how long it takes Governor Scott to disclose his assets since announcing his bid for U.S. Senate. In Tallahassee, I'm Jake Stofan.